can water generate electricity? But of course it can. At hydroelectric power plants, falling water rotates turbine blades producing current. Okay, but can usual water generate electricity? Yes, no, just a second to think it over. Well, better have a look. We install a vessel with water on the stand. We put tubes crisscross through metal rings and connect the upper vessel to the lower ones with electrodes in them. This is called a Kelvin water dropper. We open the valve. and small streams of water generate a current, weak but noticeable. If the stripes are not impressive, look at this. We replace them with metal rods and a spark appears among them, and that's just streaming water. We think that the cans are not charged. That is, there is no control over it. However, they have slight electric current because of a range of reasons for example, natural radioactivity. So, lower vessels in the Kelvin water dropper have different charges, positive and negative, like in a battery. Going through the metal rings on the cans, drops of water change from them, one positively and one negatively, increasing the energy in the lower vessels. They polarize the rings more, while the rings in their turn polarize new drops, making it an endless circle. When the charge is accumulated, the current and charge leak. By its capacity, a structure of this size is comparable to the piezoelectric element of a lighter. And to answer the question you haven't asked is yes. The Kelvin water dropper can be compared to a hydroelectric power plant, but no, this model can't be used as a power source. It has very low efficiency. It means that if you pour through a Kelvin water dropper as much water as is poured through a power plant, you will get the result a million times lesser than what you would get at the power plant. A Kelvin water dropper is an interesting experiment, a smart structure, lab work, but nothing more. Pouring water on turbine blades, which happens at all hydroelectric power plants, is much more efficient. <laughs>